Good morning, gentlemen. Today, we get back to basics. We get to making some money. I'm going to give you 10, Todd, Todd, that's crazy. I'm going to give you 10 side hustles that will make $1,000 to $5,000 a month. Plus, we're going to get into the four levels of making money because this it's very important if you want to make money, if you want to build something, because the first level of making money is mindset. Essentially, even though I'm going to give you these 10 side hustles that make $1,000 to $5,000, you can make money doing anything if you have the right mindset. But most folks don't have the right, right mindset, which creates a problem because there is this notion that you must see someone else do it and then you must get a testimonial and then you get a white paper and then it becomes mainstream pedestrian like eBay, Amazon FBA. And at that point you get in and it's too late. The good money, the easy money is over. So now you got to go in there and struggle because you've been waiting for the proof of concept to be assured that you weren't going to lose out and you end up struggling and giving up anyway. So the first thing you have to do is rid yourself of the concept that it must be proven. <clears throat> it must be proven and you need to see evidence before you jump in because if you continue to do that and you continue to sit on the sidelines, you're going to be a very old man, a very old woman, wondering what if. The second level, hustle. Hustle is doing something. Hustle is not watching YouTube videos. <clears throat> hustle is not listening to podcasts. Hustle is not reading books. Hustle, hustle is actually doing something. You're going out, you're getting it. Outcast circa, I think 1992, get out, get out, get up, get out and get something. Hustling is action. Hustling is movement. Hustling is data points. Hustling is really picking up the phone, making YouTube videos. It's uh, writing blogs, writing books. It is action. That's the second level of making money. You must be hustling. If you are poor, your hustle ain't elegant. If you're struggling, your hustle is not good. If you've got money problems, your hustle's janky. That's pretty much what it is because in 2018, there is no excuse for not making some money. You've got Facebook sales apps, you've got Poshmark, you've got eBay, you have Craigslist. Uh, there, there is no excuse. You just lazy. That's all it is to you just lazy. You got to let that go. The third level of hustling. And this is very, very important. You must do more the next month. And what I mean is you should always be scaling up. You cannot expect to make decent money by putting forth what I call the finger method. The finger method is I touch it once and it just continues to work. Set it and forget it. It does not work like that, playboy. Mm -mm, it doesn't. So what you got to do is measure your activities, measure your phone calls, measure your creeping in the DMs. You got to measure all that. And if you did 150 DMs last month, then your goal should be to do 200 this month until you get to the max level of DMs that you personally can do or the max phone calls. When you max out, then the next level is to get some assistance. You've always got to be pushing. You cannot become complacent because this is the world that we live in, which is even more dynamic than it was when I was a wee, wee little lad. Things change almost quarterly. Some things, things change monthly. It's just, that's just the way it is. If you want to make that bread player, you're going to have to be with these changes. You're going to have to be measuring your activities and looking at 
what you, um, you get out of your activities. And the fourth level to making money is results. You got people out here with these shirts. I'm a hustler, baby. I'm hustling. They're, they've, they're posting all of these motivational posts on Facebook and all this other stuff. And they have no results whatsoever. None. None. So if you're not getting any results, you ain't hustling. You got to get results. And getting results is going to be somewhat tragic because in the beginning, you're going to suck. It's just facts. And you're going to have to figure that stuff out. And you're going to have to push harder than you ever pushed before to get your results. Because, and I, I will go ahead and talk about the Craigslist thing. I still get way above average results from Craigslist for something that I worked on about three months, 16 years ago. You've got to put in the work. You've got to become a practitioner. You've got to become a technician. You must be technically proficient at whatever you're doing. you got to. Because if you don't, someone else is going to be technically proficient. Someone else is going to eat your lunch. Someone else is going to be Jody up in your bed. We know how Jody does. We know how Jody does it. Jody is a mofo. Yes, he is. All right, so let's get into it. Hustles, side hustles. Now, what's the definition of side hustle? Something that you could do in your spare time. And what is spare time? I don't even know. If you have some spare time, please tell me in the comments what is your spare time. Define spare time. I don't know. Uh, it's all hours to make money to me. It's 24 hours in a day. I sleep six, and I'm trying to make money 18. That's how I see it. But if you have spare time, put that off in the comments. All right, I got a list here. Number one, buying and flipping cars under $5,000. Now, I'm not going to get into the mechanics. If you need additional help with these hustles, go below the video and get 30 days to $2,500. It's 99 bucks. It will help you tremendously with these side hustles. Number two, and this is a this is a new one, specific industry drone photography. Don't just go buy a drone and then start calling people willy nilly. What you do is you get yourself a practice drone and you learn how to fly that thing because I crashed mine. Then you get into real estate, automobiles, uh, beauty. You find a niche. And what you do is you create a lookbook for your niche. If you want to do real estate, you contact 10 real estate agents to say, look, I have a drone. I will do your drone photography for your house for free to build a portfolio. All right. And this is an old time favorite. Buying and selling furniture on Craigslist. I used to make in the weekend anywhere from $1,500 up to 6,000 in one weekend selling used furniture. Now granted, I had a huge source, a really huge source, and we'll talk about that later. But let's talk about furniture. You could sell antique furniture. You could sell only chairs. Yes, you can. You can only sell chairs and that will work because Chairs sell much faster than tables and people like, I don't want the table, but I'll take the chairs. And you should charge them almost as much as you would charge them for the whole set because tables tend to linger. And number four, another favorite of mine, starting a YouTube channel. My AdSense is consistently 930 to 1100 bucks a month. And you know what that is kind of grown and understand, I don't really push the AdSense angle of this channel because I sell courses and other things and that's how I make my money. But starting a YouTube channel in a popular niche can make you $1,000 to $5,000 per month in less than a year. Let me say that again, in less than a year. One of the reasons that I don't push for the AdSense is I would be losing money. <laughs> but if I was 
broke dick Danny, if I was that guy, I would probably be all alone that AdSense tip. Number five, which could help you with number four, storage auctions. I get this all the time. Hey, Glendon, storage auction still good? Yes, because all the hoopla has died down. All of the fantasy has died down. People have gone out there and they've dropped thousands of dollars and they've just got a box full of old roaches. Not even new roaches, old roaches. And they're like, um, I don't know about the storage auction thing. But once again, I can help you with that. Go below the video and get my book collection. It's $99 and it has pimping Craigslist. It has the yard sale book. It has the storage auction information. All of that stuff to help you if you want to get into the storage auction game. Because I can tell you, my first month, I made $1,000. That's a long time ago. But you can still do it. You can still do it in your spare time. And once again, please put in there what is the spare time stuff that you speak of. All right. Number six, being a social media manager. I have friends who pay people $500 to $1,000 to write blog posts for them to put stuff on Facebook for them. If you're good with social media and you have a professional presentation, you can walk in there and you can point out certain things. Do it. It's out there. I don't think you're going to be making like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100,000 like some of these people have purported, Mr. In My Garage. But thousand to five thousand, definitely doable, and we're not working the whole month. We're not working 160 hours. Now, number seven is mostly for the females who are watching this. See, I always say, like, Glendon, this chill's for men, right? It's all over men, right? And you'll never have nothing for us. I got something for you. Hosting a pop-up store. Now, what is a pop-up store? You go to a location, you go to an event, and you just have a store for one day. Or maybe a week, just depending upon your inventory. And I have known people to make anywhere from a thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars hosting a pop-up store. Now, granted, the folks who are making twenty-five, fifty G's, they're definitely doing it full-time professionals. But I'm just letting you know the money's there. A pop-up store can be for T-shirts, it could be for hats. It, I mean, it could be for anything. You just got to find the proper venue and make sure that the merchandise that you're selling at that venue matches the clientele. Because see, this is why the pop-up store works. You take a certain merchandise or service to people who are already predisposed to that merchandise or service. That's why it works. All right. Number eight, an oldie but a goodie one, cleaning houses. I pay my housekeeper 200 bucks a month. So if she's got four of the clients like me, that's a G. She's there two hours. So 10 hours, 10 hours for a G. Include travel time, let's say 12. Hard work, but very lucrative. If you know how to sell and you know how to clean and she comes sometimes by herself, sometimes she comes with her daughter and she be doing that. And she's Brazilian. She's not. Well, yeah, she's Brazilian. It's a very interesting story she has. But yeah, cleaning houses. People still need houses clean. You know, anything in the service economy that helps you buy back time, people doing it. Number nine. Do you like dogs? Seriously, do you like dogs? And do you like picking up poop? Some people love that stuff. They're like, oh, look, it's a wiener dog. Oh, you pooped. Oh, it was such pretty poop. Oh, my God, it's the best poop ever. I mean, we're winning. We're winning so much. We're winning. Are you tired of winning yet? Are you tired of winning? But seriously, if you live in a metropolitan area where the people have a lot of dogs, if you want to walk Fido, some of these dog walkers make crazy money. But easily a thousand bucks a month walking Fido and getting your exercise and getting your car though and helping your, your heart out. It's just out there. All right. And number 10, you're going to laugh and I'm going to have to show it to you because we've talked about this before. But, and some of you folks are going to get carried away. Hold on. Professional. 
<laughs> I just crack up every time I see this, man. It, it's just the world that we live in. Do do do. All right, so. People with professional cutlers for the first time. Professional cutlers make anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks per hour, and there is no happy ending. There shouldn't be. It possibly could be. I don't know, but that could be something else, and that pays more, <laughs> way more than 1000 bucks an hour. But seriously, uh, professional cuddling is a thing. If you are a cuddler, you like to cuddle, you like to stroke hair, you like to rub backs, you know, massage necks and stuff. You can make one thousand to five thousand a month cuddling, holding people, stroking them up, stroking them down. <laughs> and there you have it. Ten side hustles that will help you <laughs> make one thousand to five thousand. I'm sorry. Every time I I, I get to that, because this has been the thing. I've talked about this since about 2012. Professional cuddling is a thing, and I think it's symbolic or symbolic of the fact that many of us do not know how to build relationships. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what a girlfriend or a boyfriend's for. But there are some people who just don't have that access. And they need those professional cutlers. All right, so let's go into the chat room. Let's see where are we with this because I am clowning this morning. <clears throat> Darren Elderman, my first day as a full time reseller, I left my job feeling liberated. What? I think they like me. What's up? The Wild Jones Report. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, I was a few minutes late. Forgive me. Uh, that's funny. What's up, Johnny Walden? You wake up to YouTube motivation? Cool. What's up, Agent J. Pool? What's up? Uh, uh, Y'all just having a nice conversation. B. Bando from England. What's up? I was over there not too long ago. What's going on, Raquel? What's up, Tone Lee? Oh, yeah, we're back to Hustleology. Josco31, what's up? You know, that was, you know, I think that was the situation, Josco31, that you were handling. I think that was her again under another assumed name. Colin, Colin Matthews, you are so true. Black people need to get up and move and make that extra money. Yep. Cool, cool. Be him, B I H M, the third. That's different. Yes, hustle is definitely action. Uh, Derek Elderman, uh, I'm really against social media, but being full time, I think I would have to get involved. Um, possibly, because th the thing is, my job here, my fiduciary responsibility is to point you in the right direction. And I I'm no longer making judgments. I'm just saying this works and this makes money. Uh, but, you, you know, if you're going to be a professional, you know, uh, be careful with social media. What time does Beast Mode start? <laughs> what's up, Caddy? Young Brandon, what's up? Good deal. Melonious. Top of the morning. Yeah, reselling is how I got started. Farley, what's up? Marlonius, my goal is to make five hundred to a thousand dollars a day, twenty-one days out the month. That's a nice goal. Uh, <laughs> Y'all have got a serious conversation going on here. Let's see. Um, 
Vani. <laughs> what? I don't know if you're talking to me or to the people in the chat room because there's a serious conversation. Cuddling for money is a thing. It is. I mean, it is. <laughs> Points for the pro cuddler. <laughs> What's up, Lamote? Uh, how many hours do I average work in a day? I actually don't know. Really don't. I don't count it because uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. CM Will, I need the money and some, I need a hug and some money. What's up, my Amito Jones? Yep. Michaelon, Michaelon, build my hustle money, muscle hustle muscles this morning. My goal is to make an extra five hundred. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons that I don't look at time when I don't look at my, I don't measure my, I'm not currently measuring the hours I work per day because I'm trying to shape some stuff up. Like last week, you know, that I was, I did like four days, I did three videos in one day for four days, I like three, did three videos a day for four days and I saw movement and I was like, okay, how can I make that work? So right now. I'm not even worried about time. I just go to sleep. I get up, I work, and I work until I get tired, and I go to sleep, and I do it all over again because to get something started takes a lot of momentum, and you cannot have any of these um, work-life balance type deals while you're trying to build something. You just let that go. Just let that go. A few months from now, I can get back to that because, you know, this isn't forever, but <clears throat> when you're starting something, you need to hustle your face off. You really do. And I've kind of figured out, and then this is the reason I haven't, like, you know, the only time that I announce this to 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. stream, because I know I'll definitely be here. But the rest of the stuff, I'm still shaping it up. It's taking time. I'm writing my list. So if you are starting a hustle, don't clock time. Groom out your hustle, get some results, and then, you know, try to shape it up because you're trying to shape it up and you're trying to build it up. Because, you know, it's like when they cut your hair, they cut all of it off and then they get to the fading and the shape up later. They don't try. To, they don't do that first. That comes after. And that's the same thing with uh, putting together your hustle. Uh, Byron Nixon, if storage unit sales are consistent, where should you store a lot of that stuff? Well, you can use your house. <laughs> you can rent a spot. There's a lot of options. Oh, BM the third. Okay. I didn't know. I don't know, man. Uh, B Bando, is there a way you could point me in the right direction? I would like to start investing in real estate. I'm not a U.S. citizen yet. Nope, I can't. I don't really have any clue how to help you because I'm staying in my lane. So my lane is, you know, personal real estate and stuff. I know a little bit about, but I'm not going to start teaching that because folks going to be like, show us a deal. Show us the houses you're looking at. And I'm not looking at any houses and I don't have any deals. So, okay. Uh, Kinder Tube. <laughs> hey Glenda, I'm currently working 68 hours per week at gig one, getting my debts paid down and saving is built up, started with the coins. Is there anything I can start with my work schedule? Well, how many hours do you sleep? Because you work at 68 hours, I mean, there's still some time. Vanny G, good morning, Glenda. Sleeples in California and it's uh, number 10. <laughs> Charlton sounds like over the road hours. <clears throat> Merlonis, I have a garage. Bim, momentum is paramount. Keep selling till you get a yes or a sell. And that's really important. That's a very important part of it because <clears throat> when I was at Renecrate, I used to make games. I remember I would not go to the bathroom until I set an appointment. And one day I was like, oh, Lord. I'm going, <laughs> wait a minute, oh Lord, hold it, clench it, yep, uh-huh, then I had to run to the bathroom. I mean, you, you got to kind of play these games to make it fun. 
the rent Darren Edelman, Marine Corps model, no rest for the wicked. Wow. Wow. We do have some wickedness going on around here. But it'll be good because um, today's a good day. It's a very good day. So there's some other stuff, but, you know, I'm going to actually put the 10 on there a little later. But these are just some hustles, and you, you can jog your mind and think of some other stuff that you can do. What's up, Green Machine? Pain threshold, yes. Because this is a little different, and I should explain this, and I should be clear. I have the blessings, the largess to have full control of my day. That is something that many of you do not. So when you see or hear me doing something, take that in mind that I have full control of my day. I don't have small kids. You know, um, I have a lot of time to invest in building business and stuff that, you know, a lot of you just don't have. You know, if you're married, you got kids, you got dogs, you got mutants or whatever, that plays a role. So when I say these things, keep that in your mind. Uh, Glenda, do you plan your days a certain way? I don't like being on the fly kind of guy. Welp, here's something that's going to sound very woo-woo-ish. I'm a creative person. And one of the problems I had when I was consulting was my creativity just went away. It just. So being a creative person, sometimes when I'm just sitting there looking at the wall, I'm being creative and it's really starting to come back. So I am kind of a kind of a fly guy. It's very wooish. I'm let the days go. And depending upon my workout schedule, it's very all over the place right now. That's why I'm only committing to the 5 p.m. live stream because it's very woo-woo-ish. It's very off the fly. And I think I need that because last year was really, really intense. And I'm building, I'm rebuilding my hustle muscles. I used to be able to put out so much content. That's like, what happened? My hustle got tarnished on it, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to shine up my hustle. So that's a lot of where I'm at. Let's see. Uh, Mika Long, obsessing over time creates unnecessary pressure. It can. Charlton, I'm waiting for the West Coast update. <laughs> Remember, things went well. <clears throat> What's up, Charlene? Trending business. What's going on? D. Coleman, the hustle never stops. And Bim the third, don't get married if you can help it. Today on my disruptive mail channel, I'm going to actually talk about that subject because you know there's a lot of stuff that I've talked about on this channel that I really shouldn't have talked about, and I'm really spreading it out. What's up, SB? I motivate you. Awesome. You know, outcast, get up, get out, and get something. Uh, that's just kind of my creed because if you notice, I'm kind of going back to the original stuff because I used to do this all the time. I used to do the AM hustles because I'm an early bird. So we'll see how long this lasts. Like I said, I'm not committing to it. We'll just see how long I can keep it going because uh, today there's a lot of stuff that I got to do. And part of what I do is I try to do one thing until I finish it. Like yesterday, I was preparing for something that I'll discuss with you guys Thursday which is tomorrow, yeah. And it took, you know, about six, seven hours just working on that. So that's part of it. How many of you never had a job? I'm just curious because part of this new sharing economy, part of the app economy, part of the creative economy is we are having many young people who are leaving high school and college and they've never had a job and some of these people make six figures and some of these people make seven figures. It's this is what I'm saying. There's so much opportunity out here. How many videos are in the archive? About eighteen hundred. This channel is nine years old. And it's real interesting too, because the new YouTube algorithm 
really favors people that hit it. So you're seeing channels like explode. You're seeing people get a million subscribers in a year. You're seeing people uh, get 100,000 subscribers a month and that just literally started a year or two ago. And then, because what I'm seeing is, because I'm watching that trend and there was someone I was watching and she was hitting it out the park and then she took a, a misstep and everything crashed. So what YouTube give it real quick, YouTube can take it away very quick. And I've noticed that, that's really interesting. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff. That's why when people criticize me and I was like, have you watched all the videos? Well, no. Well, if you have an extra eight or nine years of your life to waste, <laughs> go ahead and watch them. What's up, 89 Dr. Funk? Uh, what's on the whiteboard? It is holding companies. It's how to create holding company and operating company. And then there's some other stuff. Uh, this is from the live experience, last live experience I had because I did not um, clean it up. And this is probably, this location is going to change. I don't know where I'm going to do it because the super high speed internet, and if you're going to do live streaming, you need super high speed internet, is in here. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to do this. You may have to move it to the other office and I'll probably be live streaming in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, consistency, because one of the things like I don't worry about time and I'm not really worrying about trends right now. Um, like, you know, we'll we'll talk about a certain coin you can't taste or smell. That's a trend. <clears throat> and at some point it's going to be over right now. It's going up. A lot of people are making money off of it. But. It's kind of funny. I'm kind of like uh, with my new digital citizen. I'm going back to the stuff I used to do because there was so much, there was so many crazy people who had gotten the Kindle space. And, and I was just like, I don't want to be part of this because if I create a course or I talk about it right now, I'm going to be one of those people. And then, you know, I, I showed this yesterday, but this is, uh, let me see if I can find it. Good Lord. Uh, All right, I'm going to have to get to the full history. I'm going to try to find this because I, I did it yesterday. This is very interesting. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should let you know there, there's going to be another Coming to Atlanta video probably next week. Good Lord. Okay. It's just not, um, this is kind of crazy. <clears throat> there we go. Just discuss a few things with y'all. Um, and I'm going to try to make this bigger. There we go. Ah, uh, that, that does not stay up long. And I don't. All right. Now, I showed this yesterday, but this really drives home some of the stuff that I was talking about. YouTube and Etsy have made more. YouTube by itself has made more money than all of these combined. I mean, well, I should say giving creators. I want you to really think about this. In Etsy, you actually have to make stuff, you know, because that could have been one of the 10 things. But, you know, I was like, I'm going to leave it at 10 because 10 is a nice round number. But this this is the reason that I don't leave. I don't, I'm not leaving YouTube because let's just say it right now. YouTube has the apocalypse. It has all of this drama. People are leaving. People are mad. But the thing is, I have always sold a product starting my fifth or sixth month with YouTube. I've never depended upon that since I've always been selling stuff and my selling income, like, like I said, I make 930 to like 1100 bucks a month from AdSense. And my selling income is usually 20 to 50 times that 
Plus, I still get that. And I believe, and we'll know this, Facebook ain't on here. I want you to really notice that. Facebook is not on here. Uh, the deal with Facebook is you have to get so big. Well, you can do the same thing with Facebook. If you get a big enough audience like uh, Country Wayne. Country Wayne, he sells out his tour dates because of his Facebook page. So he goes to the city. It's sold out. But, you know, back to YouTube, Etsy, and Instagram. And this right here, I am not shocked at all. Not shocked at all. And there's like 20% of the folks on Amazon are making that $230 million. But there's a way that you can use Amazon to get, uh, you can use Amazon's traffic. And we'll be talking about that at Digital Citizen. But this is, this is, this is where we are, man. And this right here, that really blows my mind, which tells me that there's a lot of big dogs on eBay. But that, that's just like, that's just crazy. And it also shows that eBay has really, really come down. And also, a lot of stuff is selling super cheap. But to be here, and this is, this is where you want to be if you want to make money online. Because I'm going to tell you a little secret that I, I'm going to expose on the Digital Citizens channel. You know how there's a lot of bloggers on YouTube? And they'll talk about their blog, and you'll go to their blog, and the blog will be lit. It'll, it'll look really, really good, right? Well, if you go to similar web and check out their traffic, you'll see a lot of them don't have any traffic. They're bloggers, right? But their traffic is on YouTube. This is what happened to me. First blog, well, one of the first blogs I had, I had three. Urbanpackrat.com, urbanpackrat.com, and Business Credit Mentor. It is phenomenally hard to get traffic to a blog, to a new blog. It's hard. It's just really, really hard. And I was getting 10, maybe 20 hits a day on my blog. Started a YouTube channel, 200, 300, just like that. So this is why YouTube is being the way that YouTube is, because they know what they have. If you can, because YouTube is the hardest social media platform to make it on. But if you do, you will make money. It is the hardest one. And it's the most lucrative one. Because uh, there's just some people who are just not cut out for YouTube. They don't want to show their face. Don't want, I mean, I, I study YouTube all day. I study, I got a few channels that I monitor. I go to Social Blade. I check their stats out. And there's some big YouTubers whose channels are literally dying because they haven't changed their tactics yet. So if you want to make money online, this is the place to be. What's up, 89 Dr. Funk? Darren, good morning. Thank you. Going to bounce. Busy day. Hustle on, Darren. Um, could be Charlton. Agent J. Paul, Glendon, how do you find out? Oh, you just ask. You just ask him before you rent the office. You're just like, hey, who are your service providers? Because you, you do have to ask. What's up, Randall? Uh, Yuri Bruce, I know nothing about ClickBank. I cannot say anything good nor bad about it. I've heard a lot of people make money over there. Marlonis have to adjust. The original lady pimp, one of the best side hustles is work from home jobs. Most of them are part-time, don't have set schedules, and pay pretty good. I do market research projects. One I've been working almost two years. Okay. Yeah, because... I know because one of the things that I did was to do these side hustles from 1000 to 5000 because that's the kind of money that can move people out of their jobs if they ever had one. There's a lot of folks who've never had a job. It's the most amazing thing. What's up, George Bush? 
All right. Let me, I guess I didn't really need that. Here we go. Here we go. All right, for those of you who want additional help on your side hustles, let me let me see because pretty much the best thing is uh, 30 days to 2500 the original course that's 99 bucks links below and we have packages let's see what's in the never broke action pack let's just go in there and let's see So that is a good one. And what I will do for anyone who wants the never broke action pack, I'm going to do this for you. See, I can do this in real time. This is what I love about this. So, nope, not that one. Not that. You know what? We'll add that one. And we will add that one. Let's see. Preview it. All right. For those of you who really want to enhance your hustle or create side hustles, this is the bundle for you. The Never Broke Action Pack. You got how to start a business, how to shape up a business, physical products. I'm doing asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson, disruptive money, personal, alternative cash, how to never be broke again, the 24-hour startup, the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success, the original book. So this right here should, the, it should be the hustle pack, but we're going to call this the Never Broke Action Pack. And I'm not going to change the price. I want to change the price, but I'm not going to change the price. So for anyone that wants to get their side hustle grooming and gooming and going on, go ahead and grab that. And um, for a limited time only, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to come out of here real quick. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to give you 20% off. Just uh, give me a minute to set that up. I got to go into the coupons. All right. So the day is we're just going to go and we're going to go 20% off and we're going to go today. That's the code because, uh, uh, you know, I've learned from that Bitcoin and pancakes. You make them complicated. They just don't work out. So the code today is today. How simple is that? So go ahead. While this is up, go ahead and get that. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share this video with your friends. And uh, let's see. The Wild Jones, but Facebook owns Instagram. Uh, doesn't count. Instagram, Facebook doesn't really do much with Instagram. They limited the reach, but no. No, 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 no. Uh, Vanny, starting the YouTube English. You should do Spanish. Go ahead and research Spanish. Check them out. Started on eBay a few months ago, and I make 1500 Cool. E pimp, good morning. No, it's a pop up shop. Brown and Nixon is an actual pop up shop. Let's see. Cool, because I'm getting ready to bounce. All right. So I will, if you don't get it, I'll put it in the comments. Today's special in the code and all that. So be sure to subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'm going to bounce. You guys have a good day. I am out.